Hey, good morning. Yes, Angela and Lansbury. I know everyone heard that Angela passed away peacefully in her sleep at home on Tuesday at the age of what 96 on the same age as the Queen very interesting I'm sure you guys have all heard of La- Angela Lansbury I mean she's been around for a very long time in theaters and so many other places now I'm gonna try and go through a lot of these pictures quickly but it's interesting to see that she died on 11th of October 2022 right I'm just saying but yeah she was born in 1925 I'll just look at a few things with you guys but please look on your own there's so much to say and so much to look at her parents though Edgar Isaac Lansbury and Moyna McGill hmm her father was a director of Grand Opera House in Belfast Oh, the Grand Opera House was acquired by the rank organization hmm very well established right not like just a Joe on the on the side here, right? So I'm sure he belonged to a club. Yes, he was a part of also the Communist Party in Great Britain. Interesting. Her great uh, her grandfather, the Right Honorable George Lansbury, um, was married to Elizabeth Jane Brine. They had twelve kids. <laughs> wow. He was a part of the Labour Party. Yeah, he even established the newspaper there. Um, interesting thing you might want to read up on they mentioned the League of Nations several times when you're reading about him plus that he meant met several world leaders such as Roosevelt Mussolini and you might find the next one interesting it starts with a hit I won't say anything more but he also was a president of the peace a uh, peace pledge union PPU Hmm. interesting it's still around if you look at their Facebook page they have the same gun that is shown in the United Nations um, Facebook page hmm. interesting right and we know the League of Nations evolved into the United Nations I'm just saying whether he was one of those who helped start that or not I don't know but there he is with his wife there and I'm not sure if his wife is here on the right but that was in the PPU um, Facebook page and just similar times so I thought I'd put it in there well her mother was a, a star as well uh, the Rotten Tomatoes gave her 93% for the this um, picture of Dorian Gray interesting look she was beautiful as well and an actress an actress so of course you would find Angela becoming an actress just like her mother right hmm yeah they were even pictured a few times together there I just thought I'd share but of course later in her years her mother was on the Twilight Zone interesting I remember watching that a few times but I just found that interesting they mentioned Tamara was her granddaughter for whatever reason probably because she's trying to make a name of herself and I don't even know why they brought up her distant nephew who was an Australian politician hmm. interesting but anyway Angela married Richard Cromwell only lasted short time but then was married to Peter Shaw for 54 years kudos right from being married that long and being inside Hollywood they had three children one he had from a previous marriage but they had two together so David Anthony and Deidre of course they were brought up Epipis- Episcopalian hmm and they had some grandchildren there as well but anyway David Shaw was a stepson he became an actor as well he was on several shows I don't know if he played any leading roles or not but anyway married to Christina Mickelson doesn't mean anything to me Anthony Anthony Pullen Shaw became an actor as well as well as a director of several shows including Murder She Wrote and Harbinger of Death hmm interesting and then when they mention Deidre and this all is very interesting and boy it took me on a bit of another path here but let's look at a few interesting things their kids became um, they started doing recreational drugs and their son became addicted to cocaine and heroin interestingly enough they were hanging around with the Manson family oh yes and so then they had to relocate to Ireland where they also had a doctor prescribe methadone to kick you know that habit that heroin habit now I'm sure many of you know about Charles Manson so I don't need to go into details but maybe there's some other younger folk who don't know about him so I'll just leave that there for a second 
Now I did find it interesting that Angela looks a lot like Drew. Don't you think? I'm, I'm just saying they have some similar features. Maybe, oh, who knows, maybe uh, same mother. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into the details of all that, but I found it interesting how they had some similarities. There's now the two side by side. Angela is the obviously the black and white photos and Drew there. So some similar features, but hey, we know that that is what they look for when they're looking for actors, right? But they use family members in these places as well, and you have to be a club member, right? Absolutely. Well, Angela also was friends with B. Arthur. Now, I'm sure you guys all know who B. Arthur is, but hey, this picture right here <laughs> speaks a thousand to me. But anyhow, not going to get into details on that, but just mention that she was on the Golden Girls. Yeah. Okay. But Angela's done many commercials, you know, for MasterCard, you know, and Total and many other things. I'm not going to go details. But this I found interesting seeing this picture and seeing the blithe spirit, what she had to say about it, because she was very excited to talk about it. And she loved playing this role. She was a medium and a happy one. And there are times when a trance may be the only way of raising a spirit or later require banishing one, she mentioned. Look, I don't know if that was only a part, but it, regardless, quite interesting. Now, I just want to take a look at some awards that she's received, and let's try and go through this fairly quickly, because she's received many Academy Award and nominations. You know, six Tonys, six Golden Globe Awards. Um, I just was looking at some of the numbers there, but interesting, right? Six, six, and then... Uh, she got 45 nominations, which equals nine. But anyway, uh, Academy and Honorary Award in 2013. She's gotten the Tony Awards, like I said, six of them. Oh, uh, yes. So anyway, she's gotten the Golden Globe Awards several times, right? And Emmy Awards, she was nominated 18 times, but never won. Yeah, she got, you know, theater awards as well, yeah, especially for the Blythe Spirit one interesting, Lawrence Oliver Award, and many others, including, you know, the Kennedy Award. Right, right, right. And of course, there's something called the Woman in Film and Lucy Award. Of course, Lucy, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Yes, we know what it all means. It has to do with Lucifer, basically. But if there's someone who doesn't know about it. But chime in and add more comments because I have to rush through this. I only have a certain amount of time. She's considered the Dis Disney legend in 1995, oh, right, for playing even roles in Disney characters, uh, the voices, you know, Beauty and the Beast, she was there. And we all know about Disney, right? I don't need to go into details on <laughs> who Disney and who uh, even started the Disney organization. So anyway, she also was in per Mary Poppins Returns. Look, I didn't even know Mary Poppins returned. <laughs> so I wasn't even aware of this one. And she was the voice of uh, the mayor of Whoville. Oh, right. Okay. Interesting. She also won the Hastings Pudding uh, Woman of the Year Award. And notice how they're all holding the cauldron just pointing it out yeah but anyway yeah she's gotten the guild life achievement she's gotten to have her name on the star oh yes the walk of fame the hall of fame oh she's gotten her name there and the television hall of fame look she's gotten so many awards i don't even know what to say i couldn't fit them in here but she's also given lots of money yes to aids foundations and more Okay, I, this one I found interesting because she was in the mirror, cracked, you know, cracked mirror, shattered um, glass. That's what it reminded me, you know, the glass ceiling, you know, right. But anyway, now I saved the best for last and I found these to be the most interesting here at the end. So she got a Saturn Award. Did you know there was such a thing as a Saturn Award? Yes, oh my goodness. And she also received an award from, oh, what? Who? Oh, the Queen. She got the Commander of the Order of the British Empire and also the Dame. So in 94 and 2014. Can you believe it? Of course. They give awards to all their club members. Look, she's been in TV, guys. She's been everywhere. She's been quoted. She's been in 
but you know all kinds of things have happened to her whether you liked her when she was young or in her older age or liked her at all it doesn't matter she was very well known that's all I'm saying but we all know she was also a club member that's what you have to keep in mind well unfortunately she passed away all I can hope that if she was a part of that Episcopalian church that she truly did give her heart to Jesus I don't know her heart and obviously I'm showing you all kinds of other things because I know she's in the club but we don't know their hearts and that's where I have to show at least a bit of grace because God gives us so much grace all we can do is pray pray for all those around you pray for your enemies pray for for his will to be done in your life and in others and that's my only hope all right just wanted to share a little bit of Angela and her background I'm sure there's so much more and I missed a lot so fill in the blanks and share your comments God bless take care Let's have a great day. Till next time.